so I wanted to make this video a while ago but I've just been busy trying to get shit together so I left Home Depot about a year ago like almost exactly a year ago then I became a beer merchandiser then I went to Harper Freight Harbor Freight, and then from there, where else did I go? I know I'm missing one. Beer Merchandiser, Harbor Freight. Oh, Hirsch, I was delivering water heaters for a while. And then I went to this roofing company. Good money, had no life, but it was paying good. And then it just got to the point where I was there all the time and I was fucking grouchy and it wasn't worth it. And then little by little I started noticing shit change like random corporate people showing up, just random ass people that I've never seen before. And as a yard foreman I thought I was supposed to know these people but I guess not. So it turns out they pull us into a meeting and they're like hey we're just gonna let the new guys go. Uh, we're getting bought out by a major roofing supplier and that's it and then I got laid off again but it's cool you know I'm gonna go back to Home Depot more work nights try to get some money back that, that leaves me some time to get a part-time during the day too so that'd be cool and now I have for sure weekends off all the time holidays 401k so I'm looking forward to getting that back because that 401k you're not gonna do shit later but yeah this has been going on it was just cool like we were living good comfortable for a little bit and then shit happens but at the same time it's like i don't know i was getting paid good but i wasn't enjoying it like i would come home every other saturday i had to work five hours i would go in at work at like 5 30 i would get home at six it was just all day there. I'd get home and then either Layla would be sleeping or she'd be like on a super hyper one and all I wanted her to do was just shower and sleep. But whatever, you know. At least now I can go in at night, come home, take a nap, wake up, play with her, hang out with my family for a bit, then go to work when they're falling asleep. And it's cool because then I only work Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, because it's four tens. I'm off Friday night, I'm off Saturday, and I'm off Sunday. So pretty much I'm off Monday because I don't go into work until Monday night. So it's pretty cool. We get a nice little three and a half day weekend. But yeah, so that's what's going on. So I'm now I'm gonna have a little bit more time to make videos, do the stuff that I wanna do, not spend all my days fixing a roofing yard that the same idiot that they wanted to replace, they ended up keeping when that got hired. And then now to let me go, they give him back the position. So the yard's gonna be right back where it was when they hired me. So good luck guys. But yeah, that's it. I'm at Jack in the Box right now getting Layla breakfast. Uh, she wanted pancakes. So yeah, that's what's been going on the truck. Trust coming along good. It's, it's changed a lot. Uh, it has a lot more speed. It still needs more. The suspension is getting better. I want to keep that under wraps until I get it all done. Uh, I removed the second battery. People keep asking me why. It's just because the second battery, the way I installed it, it sags. So from all the bouncing around, it's getting worse and worse, and it's hard to hit my wheel well, my wheel well again. So I just took it off until we go camping again. That's when I really use it. When we want to have lights on or have the music on, that's when we use a second battery. But for now, really don't need it. It's just mostly day trips. But yeah, hold on, let me order. So yeah, um, I don't know, the truck's gonna come along good. I know it's gonna get there, it's gonna take some time. I eventually wanna go mid-travel or long-travel. That's why I'm trying to like piece everything together instead of just spending all that at once. So, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's it. Life's good. Layla's getting big. Wifey's doing good. And now I see her a lot more at work. Where, yeah, I'll probably see her like twice a week. But yeah, she's crazy sometimes. Cause I left exactly a year ago. I had four jobs within that year. And it was just, I mean, it was good. It was some good times, some fun times. I learned a lot. I learned a lot in this past year, but yep, shit happens. Hold on, let me get the food. All right, sorry about that. So, I headed back home now. Um, what else, what else? So the engine, uh, I need to find some decent four hole injectors, get them rebuilt, get them swapped out, the ones I have right now. Uh, I was told they were good, but they're pieces of shit. So, I'm gonna get my money back on that. Get some better ones, get them rebuilt, swap them in. While I have that taken off, I wanna paint some of the engine and engine bay with that header paint to just kinda reduce the heat. I wanna take out the headers, I wanna wrap the headers. I have that coming. And then, big mods are gonna be, I'm gonna get a bigger cam. The cam I have right now, it's, it's decent and it's good. It's just, I don't know, I, I just need more power. Like freeway wise, this shit hauls ass. On the street, no problem. I love the takeoff, I love the lift. The only problem I have right now is uphill. Uphill is fucking killing me. And I can put that shit in lower gears and do everything to it, put it in overdrive and it just struggles. So I don't know if I need to get more air in or I don't know, I gotta figure it out. But yeah, engine's gonna get more power. Uh, suspension's gonna get there little by little. Eventually when suspension's done, I'm gonna get 33s or 35s. Rims, I don't know, I've never been into rims. I really don't care about rims. I would, I would like some like badass like gold or bronze method rims but I can wait on that what else that's pretty much it like I've done I've done a lot of shit to the truck in this past year and I'm really happy with it I really have I'm really happy where it's at even with the suspension a lot of people talk shit like oh you need a lift you need this and that I'm like I haven't I haven't found a need for it the reason I want to go long travel is because I want to go faster. That's the only reason why. And I want more flex and obviously more articulation, but I just want to go faster. And even with the no, even with no lift and the desert, I, I'm still smashing and doing pretty good. But whatever. So yeah, thank you for sticking with us. Sorry for the long pauses, the long keeping you guys waiting. But thank you. Thank you for staying subscribed. I think I've lost like 15 in the past year. And I haven't been as active, so that's probably my fault. But whatever. But for you guys that stuck around, thank you. Uh, we're gonna have a lot more footage coming. Uh, I'll tell you my wife, I wanna go to the junkyard when we get the injectors and I wanna get like some rotors or some door panels and just light them up with the shotgun. That'd be a fun video. I got this new camera that can do badass slow-mo, so I wanna try that out. I don't know, we got a lot of things coming. It's gonna be New Year, so Christmas, then Layla's birthday, then my wife's birthday, so it's gonna be fun. So yeah, stay tuned, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs>